Before this video starts, I just want to thank today's sponsor of the video, which is Squarespace, the solution to create your own website. I'll speak about them later in the video. I want to see my measurements. Hi, I'm Joe, and for the last year and a bit, I've been on my skinny kid bulking up journey. If you have no clue what that is, it's basically me trying to go from skinny Joe to hopefully in the future, a lot more muscular Joe. I'm really happy with the progress I've made so far, but I know I've got to do so much more. Tracking my progress is something that's really important. It helps show me how much bigger I'm getting. One way I track it is through the scales, seeing how much my weight increases over the weeks. Another way is through comparing physique shots, trying to notice visible physical differences between the before and the after. Finally, we have measuring. This is where I measure all the parts of my body. For example, my arms, my chest, my waist, my legs, and then I can compare measurements a couple months down the line. Wait, no. Before you think in, it's muscle measurements only. On a serious note, I feel like I really need to start doing this more. It's just a very good linear way of viewing how much bigger I'm getting. In this video, I'm going to get measurements of all my muscles without a pump, and then record the measurements with a pump. Let's do it. Okay, so first I'm going to get my measurements without a pump. A good reason for physically measuring yourself to track your progress compared to photos and videos is that stuff like lighting and angles don't make a difference. So the results were a lot more reliable. Okay, so here's my measurements without the pump. My arms were 15 inches flexed and 13.1 inches non-flexed. My waist was 31.2 inches. My chest was 41 and a half inches. My leg was 23.6 inches and my calves were 14.7 inches. Now let's get a pump and see how much the size changed. Changes. Okay, so I've just finished an upper body workout, got a bit of a pump, let's see what my measurements are like now. A pump occurs when you lift weight and blood flows to the muscles. I always feel a lot more confident with a pump, a lot bigger, but how much did my muscles actually grow? My arms went from 15 inches to 15.7 inches. My waist was the exact same at 31.2 inches. My chest went from 41.5 inches to 42.5 inches. And my legs I didn't get a pump with, so they stayed the same. So yeah, uh, my legs and calves are the exact same. That's just because I didn't work them out. I didn't get a pump with them. But my upper body, obviously I got a pump. They've gone up a little bit, which is expected. But to be fair, my arms arms were a little bigger than I thought. Yeah, I'm not 100% happy with the measurements, so I don't think you ever will be, but it's really good motivation for me to just try and kill the gym even more and try and get these numbers up. I love measuring myself because then in a couple months time, I can just like see how much I've changed and it's really motivating. Oh my God. Has it worked? Oh my god. I need a minute. I need a minute. <laughs> Out of all of the crap I, I purchase, this is the coolest piece of crap. Before I show you this insane gadget, I just want to thank today's sponsors, which is Squarespace. Okay, so Squarespace. From websites to online stores, they're basically a platform which makes it extremely easy to build a nice looking online presence. No codings needed, nothing like that. They do pretty much all the work for you. And me, as someone who's very inexperienced at creating websites, I decided to test how easy it was. I asked you guys what you wanted to see me create a website of, and this was the most popular response. Basically a website for bulking. So I decided to give that a try. After about literally an hour and a half's work, I created this, which I was pretty happy with. A homepage, a page about diet, a page about high calorie shakes, an FAQ page. There was a lot there and considering how little time I spent on it, that shows how easy it is to do. Imagine if you spent two weeks of your lockdown time creating a website, how much better it would be. They also have features like Instagram marketing tools so you can create your own custom Instagram stories. Anyway, yeah, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Joe Fazer. Save 10% off your first purchase of website or domain. Cheers, Squarespace. <laughs> so this is the world's most powerful handheld laser. It's so powerful, in fact, that you can see it from outer space. It burns through a lot of stuff and can be pretty dangerous. So I needed to try this thing. We're going to test this. This thing was absolutely insane, and it gave me an idea. That next day, I went to the corner shop and bought an array of balloons. Music got the best in me. Ever 
Okay, so this is the laser pointer against one balloon. Now, let's try it against 12. Now it's your Three, two, one. One survived. Yeah, it's surviving on my watch. <gasps> <laughs> In the gym, I'm going for a sumo deadlift PR uh, on a one inch block. Let's see what I get. Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick voiceover to go over this. This is the start of a leg session. And at the moment I'm on conjugate style training. So I'm going for one rep maxes on different lifts. One in every two sessions at the start of each workout. I've noticed conjugate training has improved my strength massively and also improved my size a bit as well. This is me going for 160 kilos. I get that pretty easy. So I bump up to 170, which is a bit of a struggle, but I know that I've got it and I could add more to that but yeah that's yes. just quickly gone over we got a parcel today <laughs> i'm so excited for this so if you know me you know how much i absolutely love electric skateboards many different reasons some pointless but Overall, they're just super fun. I bought this, which is like <laughs> one of the best electric skateboards you can get. Let, let's let's unbox this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on one of the best electric skateboards, like ever created. This is the Ontra electric skateboard, which has a max speed of 35 miles an hour. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> that is fast. That is <laughs> that is really fast. Okay, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna practice on this, we're gonna get used to it, and then let's just do a sick montage of it. I just quickly want to give a shout out to this small business, Iron Viking Gym Equipment. Let me just clarify, this is not paid promotion or anything. This guy basically reached out to me. He asked if I could try some of his dumbbells, so he sent me a pair out. And I said, yeah, sure. But if I'm going to do like a small review on this, I'm going to make it completely honest. So here's um, this guy's dumbbells. Okay, first impressions. This looks nice. Like this looks cool. This is 27.5 kilos. They're, they've definitely got a, a very clean design. Like they look nice. They look unique. I would say there's just one problem with these. And that's just honestly that price. After receiving the dumbbells, I went on the website and saw they were definitely on the expensive side for dumbbells. However, saying that, they're cool. And if you want to get some like proper nice dumbbells for your gym or something like that, and you want to also support a small business, then yeah, get some of these bad boys. They're definitely going to be added into our home gym. Yo, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, as you can see, not that many people who watch the videos are actually subscribed to the channel. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could just hit the subscribe button. Yeah, cheers guys.